So, hello and uh, good afternoon on this Friday. Uh, this is a very short seminar today, uh, just uh, regarding the new firmware release for HM600, GY HM650, GY HM850, and GY H190. So, for all these four models, uh, we're talking about this new feature which is a rather important improvement uh, of the picture quality of all that four cameras so i take for today only one example and i have an 890 here in front of me this is just an example because the firmware is uh, basically the menu style is the same uh, on all four cameras of course the, the version of the firmware is different uh, the versions for the 600 and 650 is 307 and the version for the GYHM 850, 890 is the version 107. Uh, by the way, um, the firmware you can download on our website is uh, www.gvcpro.eu uh, also www.gvcpro.eu when you're looking to the um, uh, chat room, uh, I mentioned that into the chat room, you can see the address. If you go to our website, click somewhere on the page and then you see on the top line, you see also the, our, the mention, the bottom for support. Please click support, then type in your product like HM 650 and then you get all the list of the instruction manuals and firmware, etc. Everything is on that website. Here's a very special note. Uh, I know there's a lot of people, you know, especially for software, whatever, they're searching the World Wide Web. Please take care that you downloaded the firmware only from our site. And if this is a camera which you purchase in the uh, European uh, countries, then please use only the software which is described for the European area. Please don't uh, upload the US version, for example, or an Asian version, but then uh, lots of feature will not work on your camera. For example, GSM support, LTE support, uh, and IT things, that will not work. So please make sure that you always use the right firmware. Well, let's have a quick view to the camera which I have here in front. This is 890, that uh, it could be an 850, the 650, of course, has the different style, but from the firmware, it doesn't matter. Today, I will not explain you how to do the firmware update. That we have videos on YouTube, you find uh, that information. And by the way, if you go into our website and you download uh, the um, new firmware, inside the extracted file, you have also a description how to do the firmware upload. Just for the firmware update, up, uh, mention to everybody it doesn't matter if you have a 650 or 850 make always sure you have a battery a charge battery and you have an external power supply connected that is the only thing to make uh, it um, secure that your upload will not fail and you damage the camera otherwise there's no no risk at all uh, so again I mentioned it, it's a very short seminar I want to talk about the picture improvement which I cannot show you here on the screen on that let's say uh, high compression video here but I like to show you what feature is new inside the menu option and where you can find that and where you can activate that new software after update so let me bring that uh, screen here in front for you. I guess you can read everything here right now. So first of all, uh, if the firmware is already uh, uploaded on the camcorder, always please make sure that after upload you go to the system menu and then you go please completely down and uh, you find here reset all. Please proceed to reset all to make sure that every bit is in a correct way. So that is always a procedure which you should do when you have to do a firmware after a firmware upload. Anyhow, the major picture improvement is on the detail enhancement and the digital noise reduction. We could do a new algorithm on all of these cameras which gives you a dramatically detailed picture improvement. Uh, 
but there are still customers who like to have this a little bit softer image because this is the, the camera is prepared and tested also by uh, the EBU. And uh, so in that condition where it's before the firmware update is, so there is a lot of people who likes more a soft picture, but on the other hand, there's a lot of people who like to have an enhanced picture where you can see more uh, crisp details. Anyhow, it's up to you if you want to use that. Please go then to the uh, camera process menu after your firmware is uh, uploaded. And then you have all the settings which, which changing your picture impression, like the detail enhancement or when you go into the adjustment mode for the H, uh, uh, HNV balance and also the frequency range. By the way, on the 650, you will not have the frequency range. This is just the HV balance. But what is new with the firmware update is this point. It's the enhancement. And you can switch on the enhancement on or you can switch it off. Off means that is the same picture condition as was before the firmware upgrade. And this is on with the firmware upgrade. Keep in mind, this new algorithm is working on the details of the image, which improves the, the picture. So if you have a regular picture without having skin tone, like your face, like these areas, you will not see the, the difference. But this is the important thing for all the little details which coming now very clear and crisp by this update. This is the major thing. You see, it's very easy. We have uh, two other updates, which is only for part of you maybe interesting. First of all, it's the, uh, the update for the streaming section. If you already work with uh, the Zixi broadcast service in the case of live streaming, then this update that maybe is also interesting for you. Let me switch to the uh, live streaming area, which we are here. And on that live streaming area, in case you use Zixi protocol, of course, to use Zixi, which is an error forward protocol, which allows you to uh, cover package loss, which you have on the net, especially when you are on 3G or 4G LTE networks. Uh, keep in mind that the normal regular protocol stops working when you have 1% package loss or less. And with Zixi, you can cover 5% and up to 30% package loss. So therefore you have on this, when you switch on to the Zixi, and then you go to the protocol details, which is on a 60 setup. You can find here the latency adjustment and latency is immediately means a delay, of course. But when you do an error correction, you will automatically create uh, a delay because you have to match the bits and bytes which going on the transmission. So you have two ranges. One of them is the low 60 low here, which uh, takes 5% coverage of package loss and the medium takes 30% coverage of the package loss. Now, the customer which you already use that, uh, uh, they requested us to have a 60 minimum or 60 zero, which we call 60 off. Uh, this is the new feature with the firmware update on the 850, 890 on GVAC HM650. Why 60 set off? Because normally you use the 60 because it improve the package loss. But when you have a good network, like a cable network, because you know streaming could be also interesting, not using over the air, it could be also interesting to use a network cable from one building to another building or inside the building. So if you have a network which is under your control and you know the traffic on this network is a high performance network, why you should use an error correction which costs you delay. So, and therefore we was requested to have an option to, if you can have 60. 0 60 0 means it's a big benefit for, for that people who are using with the 60 broadcast system because you don't have to change the, I, the IP address. 60 is working on a channel, like here you see the stream ID. So it could be say, this is my camera one, my camera two, my camera four, and you don't have to take care of which IP address the camera actually takes because it's always fixed to a fixed server address, which is always the same. And uh, the stream ID on the cameras is also fixed. So, and for that way, you don't have to deal with IP addresses. And then it makes it very comfortable if you change the network. For example, you take the camera outside by an LTE network, 
and then you bring it inside to a cable network, which is you have a high performance network. You don't need to change the IP address, just hook up the network, get the connection, and the Tixi Zero is still using the stream ID and the general server address. So that's a very easy thing. And that was a request to modify these items. This is number three, and at least number four, uh, no, sorry, number two, and number three is for our customers which speaks Turkey or come from Turkey or want to use the camera in Turkey. Uh, also for this, we make uh, um, a language support for them into the camera when we go to our system menu here. So we could increase here the language support for the Turkish people. So just I want to show you up. Now we have the English, the, the French, the German, the Italian, Espanol and Russia, a simple Chinese and, and of course the Turkey language is into the OSD, which gives a lot of this customer the choice to use the camera in their own language. Of course, this memory is limited. If you are looking from another country, you might ask, can I have uh, that language or can I have that language? Of course, that is a limitation here. So, but uh, this we could manage. In the future, we like to work on to have more languages support. Of course, we want to give you the best support as we can, but also at the moment there are some kind of hardware limitation, but in the next generation, maybe we can increase that or external upload up to you. So these three items, that's all for today. You see, it's very short. I don't want to mention more. Again, firmware update is on our website, www.gbcpro.eu and click to the support site and put in your uh, product number and then you get the details of the firmware. Well, if you download the firmware, again, if you get the file and you um, extract the file, there is also an English description inside the file. On the website, there's also a description. You can download a different language, but the description file is already also in that packed file. Okay, that's all for today. Take care, and I think uh, if you like, we see us next time. Uh, please take a note on the website here. We changed some schedule for the LS300 webinar. Uh, this is a dedicated webinar. I, do, I will do that in two parts. Day one is just general the product, and uh, num the day number two is then for the optic solution for the super 35 millimeter sensor. I think that is a very interesting seminar, and I think. Um, pretty sure you're highly interested in this but keep about we have a new scheduling because it comes a little bit earlier than we original plan have a look to our schedule list here on the website by the way also this will be recorded and will be uh, placed on the website uh, uh, will be new item uh, I'm not sure maybe this afternoon or latest Monday uh, there will be a new function on the video section here and that will, I create a separate uh, channel uh, just for the webinars where you can download or can review these webinars whenever you like uh, and you want it to do. Okay, take care, God bless you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.